Hey, what's up everybody? Hope you are doing great today. This is Said Hassan from Bixband. Welcome to part 2 of our tutorial. So, let's continue. Next step will be adding the juice splashes go to file, place embedded, choose the first splash maybe a little bit bigger by holding alt click and drag this is, is good position it however you want hit enter to confirm let's add the other go to file place embedded choose the other one hold alt click and drag yes i think it is okay hit enter to confirm you can position the leaves now however you want if you want to make it a little bit interactive with the liquid in the background okay guys now guys let's add another orange behind the bottle okay guys choose layer leaf number three go to file place embedded choose orange back layer hold alt click and drag maybe a little bit smaller and position however you want i think this position is good let's hit enter to confirm what is the next step guys next step will be adding some elements to the background choose the solid color adjustment layer go to file place embedded choose the sky layer hold alt click and the drag to scale it up okay i think this position is good hit enter to confirm now we want to disguise this edge how we can do this let's add a new mask Choose the mask, go G for the gradient tool, make sure the foreground and background colors are black and white, if they are not black and white, double click here, the gradient editor panel will open up, go to basics and choose black and white and hit ok to confirm. Ok now, click and drag, it is faded very well but the colors are not blending in together. Always remember guys, when dealing with masks in photoshop, white is to reveal and black is to hide now let's change the blending mode to soft light i think this is much better let's see before adding and after yes i think we are going in the right direction okay guys what is the next step next step will be adding some elements to the foreground go to file place embedded choose orange corner layer hold alt click and drag rotate it ok move it to the corner maybe a little bit smaller this position is good and size hit enter to confirm before we continue guys i just want to say thank you for all the support and if you are new here this channel is dedicated for junior and made weight designers who are looking to learn new professional techniques and level up their skill set so if you like this type of content please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and let's continue our tutorial go to filter blur gaussian blur make the radius is 5.6 hit enter to confirm maybe a little bit bigger again this size is good hit enter to confirm let's add the second element go to file place embedded and choose leaf number one move it to the corner here hit enter to confirm we want to use the same filter we can go to filter blur gaussian blur or we can use the shortcut which will be alt and control and f if you want to use the last filter you used let's use this shortcut hold control plus alt plus f now we have the gaussian blur panel open let's use the same value and hit ok when adding big elements in our foreground with blur effect this will help to make the illusion that we are in a 3d space not 2d flat space which will help us to make our visual more interesting now guys let's add some text here and there i will meet you after okay guys welcome back now we have the text here okay let's make it match the bottom area of the corner okay now it is positioned well okay guys we want to do two things first of all choose the first line 
ok and change the weight to regular ok now we want to change the color of the text choose the first text layer hold control choose the second and from the color panel here if you can't find it you can go to character panel here and if you can't find the character panel you can find it from the window you can go to character and in the color we want to choose it here from the cap of the bottle hit ok to confirm and it is the colors are matching very well in this visual ok guys now let's add some details to the image to make it pop up a little bit first of all let's choose the juice number two layer go to file lace embedded choose the first lens of layer make it a little bit bigger to match the edges of the visual hit enter to confirm change the blending mode to screen this is good let's see before and after when adding some flares above the elements in the background this will help us to add some fade to those elements which will make the illusion that they are further away in the background now guys next step will be duplicating this lens of layer choose the layer hold ctrl plus j to duplicate but this time let's move it above all the layers okay now it is above all the layer ctrl plus t to transform make it a little bit smaller and move it to another corner like this hit enter to confirm and let's reduce the opacity okay let's see before and after yes it is much better okay guys next step and last let's create new empty layer b for the brush tool right click choose a lens flare brush if you don't have any flare like that you can use a any lens flare free images from the web or i will attach some images with the assets okay guys now hold alt to have this eyedropper tool choose any color closer to the background light color if you want and hit once yes we added a lens flare at the corner but i think it should be bigger let's hold ctrl plus z to undo hold alt and right click to make it a little bit bigger and click again i think this is good now guys we almost finished last step will be to add some pop up to the visual by using the camera row filter we want to merge all the layers in one layer Control plus shift plus alt plus e now it is all merged in one new layer let's convert this new layer to smart object and let's hit Control plus shift plus a to open the camera row filter we can see in the histogram here that we have some good highlights but not so much shadows and blacks so let's go to basics make it a little bit increase the exposure go to the shadows move it a little bit down and the blacks a little bit down okay this is good texture maybe 5 clarity 5 the haze minus 3 the vibrance should be 5 and the saturation leave it as it is in the details panel here the sharpness make it 30 noise reduction will be 5 last step will go to the effect panel here make the grain 5 and no vignetting and let's hit ok ok let's see before and after if you think this is a little bit too much you can reduce the opacity of the new layer and make it however you want and let's see before and after yes i think we are going in the right direction that's it for today guys if you like this type of content please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel to keep up with all the new content see you in the next tutorial